Bayou Time Sports is brought to you by Terrible General Health Systems Community Sports Institute in conjunction with Barker Honda. Hello and welcome to this edition of Bayou Time Sports. I'm your host Keith Weissack. Thanks so much for joining us and always glad to be joined by people who have made the decision to step up and be a coach. It's difficult to do at any level, but when we have some first time coaches that are making a difference for your kids, Awfully excited about that. We welcome in to two guys from Central Lafouche, baseball coach Lance Crochet. Lance, thanks for joining us. Nice to meet you, Mr. Keith. All right, we appreciate that. Sitting next to him, Mr. K. Romero. Nice, nice to, meet to meet you guys. All right, yes, sir. very good. Lance, let's start with you. What was it like kind of coming? I mean, you've been coaching a long time, done this for a long time. What's it like in that decision process to come over to Central? Well, basically with my baseball academy, all our goals had been accomplished uh, and the foundation had been laid and we have great coaches there as well. Uh, and this opportunity kind of came up at the right time. Right time and right place. Okay. Uh, easy commute. I live in St. Charles Parish. It's halfway between a baseball academy and my house. Okay. Uh, and it's the perfect spot. Okay. Let's talk a little bit about some of the things that y'all like to instill and maybe some things that y'all did at the baseball academy that you're really looking forward to doing over at Central. Uh, the main thing for these young men is work ethic. Uh, we are big on that. but. We have to accomplish three things at all times before we can move on to in-game reactions or the true development and stuff like that. If we can't go 100% effort, 100% focus, and control how we respond, then how are we going to be able to perform in-game uh, at practices when things aren't going our way? If we can do those three things, then we can control in-game reactions, we can make adjustments, we can get better, we can better and we can be better men. Okay. Let's talk a little bit about the makeup of the team. What are you seeing this year with the team that you're coming into? Uh, a lot of young guys, a lot of fresh guys, guys that are, are very interested and desire the, the coaching, the development, the knowledge. Uh, they're very invested. Uh, in the program. They're invested okay. in the school programs. Oh, uh, nice. We do a lot of, uh, around the school with, with go and visit the basketball teams during games, the softball team. Uh, we had a nice intersport game. Uh, with softball this year, that was our first annual. Uh, K put on it. That went great. That's awesome. Uh, just going to the soccer games uh, and and being present in the school community. They told me they wanted this, the community involved and how what was the plan? Well, for us to go out and be involved with the community, and then they'll come back and be involved with us. I can tell you the greatest gift I think we can give is the gift of presence. And not only are you being present for your team, but you're asking your team to be present for the community. How is that going? It's going great. We uh, last Christmas we did a toy drive uh, for some unfortunate family or less fortunate families that had some bad uh, some bad fortune last year before Christmas and they weren't sure. going to be able to have Christmas. So we were able to get out there and compile all the guys and their families and their friends and whatnot and get a bunch of toys together uh, and deliver that uh, happily and just being out there at the basketball games and cheering for their their classmates. Right. Uh, Go and help at St. Mary's with the the 5K. Mm -hmm. uh, just being out there and, and being active and being a helping hand when someone needs it. Wow, I, I love it, man. That, that's exciting stuff. Uh, I'm I'm really glad that y'all are taking the position of making a difference as an individual, and they can do they can then make a difference as a team. But y'all are making a difference in a community. That's just really cool. So, uh, uh, what's what's something you're looking forward to for the team this year? What's your goal? Well, we're trying to win a state championship. Okay. Uh, I had a feeling that was coming. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's, state that's, champions, that, that, that's the ultimate goal, right? The ultimate and goal. we got some ba baby steps to get there, but, but that's where you want mm -hmm. to be. I mean, we're building a program to win state championships. We're not doing it to win district. or the, That's just part of it. We want to win everything we can, of course. Right. But the goal is to, to make men right. and learn how to be a champion so that eventually we can be state champions. You gotcha. don't win a state okay. championship just by winning the final game. You, right. you earn that ways before it. I got so you. teaching the guys that way and right. Looking forward to that. Very cool. I like it. All right. Okay, let's talk to you a little bit about the, uh, first and foremost, thanks for thinking about doing something together. Oh yeah, right? definitely. Definitely. I, I know like I teach a lot of the baseball boys in class and right? so I really want to do something with them just selfishly and just having the softball girls be able to interact with them and um, try to build that camaraderie between baseball and softball. I love it. Very similar sports. What are you seeing from the girls this year? Uh, we have a lot of we have a lot of new talent. Um, we we lost uh, a couple of key girls that right. um, that I think probably in the the years that I've been there made like the biggest impact I could say. Um, 
but we also got a couple of trans well we got one transfer for sure that she's going to be our work cards this year uh kaya brown from cca she's uh she's coming to be our pitcher this year so she's oh, going to wow. be our work horse uh, we have a lot of young girls in in terms of experience like we have okay. a, we have a decent bit of seniors but but a good bit of them don't have that playing experience that varsity experience okay um so we're just we're just trying to build we're trying to rebuild um trying to rebuild the culture just just trying to get all our girls to play together yeah, and just trying to get them to be able to do that is sometimes a little bit more challenging with different teams. Right. But y'all are doing that, building community and letting them see the importance of that. Exactly. Y'all are doing some of those things as well. Yes, right? sir. Yes, sir. Um, I know one of the biggest things that uh, when I was at UL Lafayette um, with Coach Lotif, he um, one of the biggest things he instilled was like that that sisterhood, that um, you know that culture of being us. So I know like a lot of um, and us doesn't just particularly. Uh, Put just the team it's the entire community as well gotcha. and yeah. so like getting getting uh something together with baseball team and you know getting uh like we did uh, during the summer we did a camp with uh the raceland rec right um right. you know just things like that paying uh, forward. yes paying forward that's right let me ask you what's your goal what are you hoping for i think i know the answer <laughs> what's your goal for uh, the look, i'll say the same thing as lance yeah. uh now that I, I know one of my um one of the big, th big things i stick to is um Coach Robichaud at UL right. uh, has a quote that I love to stick to. He said, uh, I don't want to get up to heaven and God say that I sent you all these all these young boys and you, you made them into baseball players. He said, I want to send you all these young boys and you make them into men. And I really, I, I stick to that. So yeah. honestly, like just building these girls to get ready for life and what's going to come at, what's going to come at them once they get in the real world. Well, I'm excited for both of you first year head coaching options. Really looking forward to what y'all are going to do. Thanks for spending a little time with us and thanks for making better men and women in the community. We appreciate it. Give them LCL. And that'll do it for this particular Bayou Time Sports. Don't go anywhere. A whole lot more local programming right here on HTV.